Los Santos, City of Angels, so they say. But for Stripper Man, it's just a cesspool of crime and filth. He's here to clean up the streets, one bad guy at a time. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to introduce you to Stripper Man. He has a hunch that something big and dangerous is going to happen. And to keep the city safe, he has to cover the entire map of Los Santos with his trusty scrunchet, all in the name of justice. But it's not going to be easy. He knew that he would face many obstacles on his way. Stripper Man has set out on his noble mission to keep the streets of Los Santos safe by punching every cop every 5 minutes. Yeah, you heard it right. He's here to remind those boys in blue that they need to stay clean for their own good and to keep his skills sharp. But it's not going to be an easy ride for a hero. The police department has upped the game and are on high alert. Will Superman be able to keep up with his mission and make the city a safer place? Only time will tell. As Superman starts on his journey to reach on the top of the map, he realizes that he cannot continue without making a stop at the infamous Los Santos strip club. As Superman makes his way to the strip club, he reflects on his past. He remembers the day when he used to work as a stripper cop, trying to make ends meet. But his life took a turn for the worse when his co-worker, the bartender, jealous of his popularity, framed him for a crime he didn't commit. He knows that he has to fulfill his objective before he can move on. So he steers his scramjet towards the neon lights of the club. He makes the stop at the local strip club where he shows off his deadly skills to the security and the co-worker. And that's how he finally took his revenge. He was never a hero. He was an anti-hero. Stripperman makes his way back to the scramjet, ready to continue his journey towards the top of the map. He knows that there will be more challenges ahead, but he is determined to see the mission go through to the end. Stripperman continues his journey across Los Santos in his trusty scramjet, with a mission to remind the cops to stay clean and keep the city safe. Superman questions himself, is there any better way to do that than by punching a cop? He then comes across a prison and decided to pay a visit. He revs up his scramjet and jumps straight into the prison.
After a few minutes of causing chaos, he drives straight out of prison and back into the city, leaving the guards scratching their heads. With the prison behind him, Superman continues his journey with his sight set on the highest peak of Los Santos. The plan was simple. Climb the tallest mountain in Los Santos, take one final jump with his trusty scramjet and land safely at the other end of the city. But as Stripperman approaches the peak of the mountain, he realized the gravity of the situation. The scramjet roared as it ascended to steep incline. But as he reached to the top, a wave of realization washed over Stripperman. The drop from the peak was almost a vertical fall. There was no telling where he would land. But Stripperman had come too far to turn back now. He gunned the engine and took a leap of faith. As Stripperman hurled towards the bottom, Stripperman could feel his heart pounding in his chest and he struggles to keep the vehicle steady. With a thunderous crash, the scrounger slammed into the ground, kicking up the cloud of dust and debris. But Stripperman emerged unscattered and triumphed grin on his face and with that Superman had completed his mission traveling the lengths and breadth of Los Santos punching cops taking down the strip club and showing off his deadly skills it was just another day in the life of the one and only Stripperman Stripperman has set out on his noble mission to keep the streeties streeties and streets wow Streeties, damn, what the fuck? Yeah, polka dot bikini with the sea breeze. Hundred proof. First they meet me, then they treat me, then they leave me. I'm like, oops. I'm too sneaky, I'm too cheeky, I'm too freaky. They're like, oof. If you free me, I'm a sweetie, don't believe me. It's the truth.